clearance by Forbes Johnson denied Jim Tommy the opener. But Falkirk took the lead in the 34th minute against the run of play, Richard Cadet capitalising on some slack defending. Morton were given the perfect opportunity to equalise two minutes from the break when substitute Craig Taggart pushed John Fowler inside the box. A clear-cut penalty. Fowler took it himself, but Tony Parks pulled off a great save to keep Falkirk in the lead. The understrength Brockville side increased their advantage 16 minutes into the second half when Neil Duffy headed past Wiley. But Morton hauled themselves back into this game when, with 20 minutes left, Martin Doak shouldered the ball into the net. Six minutes later, though, Falkirk restored their two-goal lead. Ian McCall's attempt was blocked, but the ball broke to Craig Taggart, who scored. Falkirk were well in command now. And Greg Shaw displayed brilliant control and a devastating finish to make it 4-1. The Bairns completed the scoring two minutes from time when Eddie May's cross was swept into the net by Neil Duffy. Five-one Falkirk, who topped the first division table.